Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And you're in the command room. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about this Charlie Victor 19 that all of a sudden has started to pop up even more uh, throughout the country in a lot of different states. Um, Florida, Texas, uh, Arizona, those seem to be the hot spots. I live in Florida and it's definitely a hot spot more in one way. Um, so let's just get going on that. There's a few things that you can do to just try to help yourself and maybe present, you know, keep it from spreading or catching it from anybody. And basically that is just to wear a mask. Yes, that's right. I said just wear a mask. What is the big deal? I don't understand why people are so against just wearing a mask. It just does not make sense to me. If it can take and maybe you don't get catch the virus and then you spread it to somebody else, uh, because you're just a so, quote host and you don't get any symptoms or anything but you give it to your parents your grandparents or somebody else what is the big deal about wearing a mask if you go out in the public now I can understand on certain jobs and stuff um, it can be very difficult to wear a mask constantly all day long uh, my job is one of them um, but I do wear a mask when I go into places where there are a lot of people or I'm going to have close contact with people. Um, I'm not taking any chances. Um, there's no reason to when you really don't have to. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about some of the masks or some of the things you can use. Okay. First off, <clears throat> you can go to Walmart. I was going in, I was in Walmart about two weeks ago. And I was in there to pick up a few things and I had on my regular mask and I happened to see they had a whole shelf, huge shelf full of these masks. Now this was the only size you could get. There's 25 in there, 25 masks for $22.98. So that's not really a too bad of a price. So I grabbed a box just to have some extras just in case, you know, the SHTF hits the fan again and I don't want to get caught with my pants down. Ding, ding, got it. So, you, you can pick these up. Now, you would think with uh, the president and him saying that, you know, everything, you know, he put one of these orders in where we can produce all this stuff and everything else here. Um, doesn't seem like it's happening that much. Um, maybe it is, and it's just going maybe to all the hospitals. But, you know, like these here, <clears throat> These were made in May of 2020, and they come from China. So, you know, once they got back to work and everything, the first thing they did was probably make, you know, a gazillion of these things and send them over here and probably charge us top dollar for them because they know we need them. So another thing you can do is get your bandana. Take a bandana. Uh, I see lots of people, you know, they take bandanas and they put them around their face. You know, it's something. Something is better than nothing with the Charlie Victor 19, okay? You just got to just try to just play it safe, use your head, a little common sense, and try and uh, put a stop to this thing so that we can get back to somewhat, quote, normal, which I really don't foresee happening anytime soon. So then you can go up, and this is the mess that I have. Now I got this on Amazon. I paid uh, before all this happened um, I did get this mask and it has replaceable you can take and pop these things out you put in new filters it's an N95 um, it's quite comfortable it doesn't really pull over your ears too bad you know I've heard a lot of people complain about that you know on the news and everything else um, but when I bought mine it was 19.95 you got this and you got a pack of replacement filters. I since uh, bought another one for my wife and I paid $39.95 for it for the same thing. So the prices have definitely gone up on these and right now these masks are not even available on Amazon anymore. Um, I just checked before I did this video. So 
the biggest thing is with Charlie Victor 19 is is people we got to you know really start paying attention and doing what is right okay I'm not gonna sit here and preach to you and then make it some doomsday thing and anything else but if you look at what's going on and you really get the big picture and read between the lines folks because you know all these cases are just growing and growing and growing and you got the government saying well you know 99% of the people it is not gonna affect anybody else you know it's it you know they could be carrying it and they just don't get sick but the problem is is it's it's gonna just keep spreading and spreading and spreading and it's gonna go through your family or somebody else's family and now what we're threatening to um, defund not the police department we're not going there gotcha defund some of these schooling systems that refuse to reopen their schools come fall which I think is a crock of shit so you know if I had a kid and all this was going on and I lived in a state now if you lived in a state like um, Wyoming or someplace like that where you know you don't hardly even have any cases um, that's one thing you live in a state like Florida where you're 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 pumping in anywhere between nine and twelve thousand people a day you know adding to you know the plus on the positive side my kid wouldn't be going to school I can tell you that right now I mean everybody out there you can do whatever you want to do I think people really should sit back and take a really good look at this um, for one you know they're gonna have strict you know <clears throat> all kinds of um, different regulations um, they're going to be very strict on them being followed and you know how kids are you start you know really putting this to where they can't you know touch each other or you know do anything like that and then they have to turn around and wear some kind of a mask all day long you know some kids may have a hard time doing that may have a hard time breathing um, and all that so does that really make sense to do when you keep adding cases and you're not flattening the curve? If you're flattening the curve and the curve is dropping, that could be something to consider. But most of these states that I'm talking about aren't doing that and they're actually going up instead of down. So the one way that we could all help just to put an end to this damn thing is just to start to wear a mask doesn't take that much throw a mask on go do what you got to do now don't drive down the road with your mask on you just look like a moron i see so many people doing that they're riding around in their car with the windows up the ac's on and they got their mask on really folks you don't need to wear the mask when you're in your car and your windows are rolled up you wear the mask when you go into the grocery store, the doctor's office, the post office. If you're going out to eat, if you're that brave, me, I use the apps on my phone and they bring the food to me. I ain't going anywhere where there's going to be a lot of people. It's not worth it. So, that concludes this little video here on how we can control Charlie Victor 19 and how you can use your mask a bandana take an old t-shirt cut it up do whatever you got to do but to, just to cover your face to protect you and someone else just on the chance that you have it because unless you get tested and wait in those lines for 12 to 14 hours at least in this state you ain't gonna know so my name is Charles this is survival preparedness for beginners and this is the